Okay, YouTube, here we are. We have, I guess, the final preliminary cut, if you want to call it that. I exposed that frame rail. You can see I butchered a couple of those first spot welds. That was the first time I'd ever tried those, tried to cut those. Um, didn't do a very good job. See, I, over here I did a couple that were much better. Um, the first blue line there is where I think I'm going to go with where the uh, panel uh, to make my butt weld. That second blue line there is the extent of the panel, so I'm going to stay inside that. And then what I'm going to do is I don't think I'm going to go all the way to the rocker and take those spot welds out. I'm going to go just along that ridge. Get There's some rust in there up to here and then this blue line in the back you can see some some cancer in there and we're gonna come up a little bit higher here and then we're gonna let's see we're gonna stay below the seat belt area um, we're gonna cut most of that rust out hopefully get it so it doesn't come back we're going to treat that, um, you know, uh, sanding it off and, and put some treatment on it. Um, debating on how high up to go. You can see a little bit of, of let's see if I can get in. You see a little bit of rust that is not through the surface. It's still pretty solid. A little bit in there. <coughs> I'll try and uh, get as much of that out as I can. Um, I'm decide where that final scene will be. So we'll, we'll just work our way around. Um, I did a lot of these curves with... Uh, I was using a combination, but the, the small ones I was using, the, the tight curves I was using, the, the Dremel bit with those little cut-off discs. It takes a little while, but it allows you to control the tool a little bit better. Uh, and make a better cut. It was. This isn't my final cut, so it's not. It wasn't critical, but I wanted to kind of practice with it to see how well I could control it. Um, I don't know if I, I was also using the air body saw there and a normal cutoff wheel. Uh, but the trouble I have is I have a very small air compressor. It's a 30 gallon with a 5 horse motor and just a small little pump. It's not, not very big. Um, so it has trouble keeping up with air tools that consume a lot of air. So let's see what else. Uh, you can see the those are the pieces of stuff that I've been taking out. And this is the replacement panel that I'm going to be working on. Made by CHL. I don't know if it's good or bad. Uh, in, it looks like it matches up pretty well. Uh, and it's a nice little, nice little section. So again, we'll, we'll go right along there. And then right along there to start with to get start getting it fit. I'll bring you back later. I've been beating these into place, um, trying to make those edges a little bit sharper because the old, the GM the original GM panels, the corners on the stampings of the sheet metal were much much more pronounced. These are a little bit softer, and everybody kind of complains about them. So I thought the best idea to do was, while I still had some of the old curves in there, to use the that the blade on the hammer there kind of get into the curves and see if I could make them match a little bit closer. That way when I go back and weld, um, they will match closer and I won't, I won't have as much problems at that point. That's the theory anyway. I'm not sure if it'll work or not, but we'll see. Um, what else? I've been trying to file these edges to keep them smooth. Um, the theory there is that if it's not as sharp and rough that it will weld easier. I don't know if that's true or not, that's just something in my head. The, the more sharper edges that you have, the more 
uh, hot spots it's going to create for the for the arc, and those will burn away and possibly cause holes. So, just trying to eliminate as much as possible. All right, we're going to keep working at this, um, and we'll get back to you. Well, I'm kind of with Asic Eric here. I'm not sure what what happens. You you measure twice, cut once, but inevitably. We're working it back, and I don't know if you can see it there, but I overcut just a little bit, and I got a gap. So it's something I can fix. It's it's not a big deal, but it's it's just annoying when you are going along so careful and you still screw it up. So I put a, a width of a tape tape line down on the black panel and cut along that and somehow just got off so all right I don't know I'm actually pretty happy with the way this panel fits um, you can see I did beat it a little bit but as far as the lines following it works pretty well those the fasteners for where the holes line up for the seat tracks sit really well that's that's really really nice this one I'm, I'm that hole I wasn't using so I didn't worry about where it fell uh, that that's gonna get bent a little bit so but other than that those those lines look pretty good so I was happy with the quality of the panel when it came here it was very, very close to what I needed. Alright, we'll talk to you next time. Okay, YouTube, here's what we finished up for the day. I get a little tired. Um, got it in place. I've got a lip on the front edge here that's still there. That's It's an overlap in the front and in the back. You can see the zip screws in there to hold it in place. But I went ahead and cut the sides. You can kind of see... Uh, maybe not too well with this camera. It's just a camera for my phone. So I'm, I've got it kind of close. I scribed the outside and then cut it uh, with the body saw. Um, and then a, a, a cutoff wheel in some places as well. I need to go back and gap it correctly to be able to go back and weld it. This side, you can kind of see that. And you get a little bit wide there, but it's not too bad. This will all sit better once I get the back cut out I believe so you see it along there um, and then of course I missed it right there that's where I screwed it up so there's a little bit big of a gap there and then you can see the beginning of the the cut right there so next time we'll finish getting the cuts finish fitting this in and then start prepping for welding All right.